So, do you think computers make life easier? Um, I don't know. Why do people dislike computers? Well, um, I don't know. Um, will we use computers more in the future? I don't know. Um, maybe? Difficult questions, right? So listen, let's find better ways to answer these questions so you can get a higher score in IELTS speaking. Let's do it. So sometimes in IELTS speaking, the examiner will ask you a question that you simply don't know how to answer especially in part three, right? Now, of course, you can just say, I don't know, but you really want to show off your vocabulary and, if possible, develop your answer. So in this video, we're going to look at some typically difficult questions and how you can start to answer them using something different from, I don't know. <laughs> We will start with some um, easier expressions and then move on to more complex ones. Also, I'm going to help you with a few pronunciation tips that can help build your fluency. Now, a word of warning. Whilst these expressions are really good, right? Don't just learn them today and use them in the test tomorrow, right? You need to be practicing them practicing them a lot so you can use them confidently and naturally. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You know, I think if you're like me, you believe in a lifelong commitment to learning English. In fact, the best way to prepare for IELTS speaking, um, apart from one or two tips, is to make a, lo a long-term commitment to improving your overall spoken English. Really, that is the best way forward. Now, you can practice on your own, of course, that's fine. But even better is if you can practice with other people and, if possible, a qualified teacher. This video today is sponsored by Cambly. Thank you very much, Cambly. Now, Cambly are one of my favourite online platforms for finding a teacher who can help you improve your spoken English. Um, Cambly specialised in native English speaking teachers there are some IELTS trained teachers on there as well, which is fantastic for you. What I like about Cambly, of course, you can choose the teacher you want, the time you want, the curriculum you want. But they also have some pre-prepared courses that you can use in your classroom and quite a few around IELTS, which is great. In addition, you can record the classes with your teacher so you can go back and listen and study them again. And Cambly have all sorts of different plans. You can go, you can study for one month, three months, or even 12 months. And if you're going for that long-term commitment for 12 months, Cambly are giving you, my students, a 40% discount, four zero, 40% discount off a 12 month plan. Huge discount, great. So all you need to do is use the code, that's Keith-YT, um, you can see it on the screen to go and claim your 40% discount. If you want to try out Cambly, you can do a 15 minute lesson for free if you're a new student and find out if it's right for you. So great. Thanks very much, Cambly. You can go and check out um, the links below. Let's move forward with today's exciting lesson. Right, let's look at some of those tricky questions you may get especially in IELTS speaking part three, right? Very often you get questions like, um, do you think, da, 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 da. why do people, da, da, da. will we, da, 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 in the future, right? And these are questions that really are pushing you to think of an answer, give your opinion, maybe explain why you think so, um, and give you opportunities to give examples as well. They can be tricky questions. I'm going to look at some questions here around the topic of computers. These are not real questions. I've just made them up. Um, but you could apply this, this kind of question to any topic, right? Whether it's mobile phones, social media, online shopping. But here, 
Just for my examples, I'm going to take computers. So let's take the first example. Do you think uh, computers make life easier? I'm not too sure, to be honest, um, but I reckon they do make life easier because... Right, I'm not too sure. You could say, I'm not sure, or we often put the two in there, right? I'm not too sure. Notice the not and the two, there's only one T sound, not two. Okay, you don't need to say not too. I'm not too sure. You can add the filler, to be honest. I'm not too sure, to be honest. D, 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 D. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Try. Great. And then I'm leading in saying, I reckon, which just is a nice informal way of saying, I think. Um, I reckon they do make life easier because, and then you could explain why. Great, nice and easy. Let's move on. Do you think computers make our lives easier? I can't say for sure, but it seems to me that by and large, they do make life easier. Um, let me give you an example. Nice. I can't say for sure, right? Notice the pronunciation. The for is f, f, for sure. And although it's su, it's a sh sound, for sure. It's a sure, right? That long vowel sound. I can't say for sure. Nice. Very good. But it seems to me another nice filler, right? which really means I think, but it seems to me. I can't say for sure, but it seems to me. Right, great. By and large just means generally speaking, which is a nice bit of language to use. And then let me give you an example. Now, you can probably see what I'm doing is by making this, I don't know, quite long. I'm giving myself time to think so that hopefully by the time I get to, let me give you an example, my brain has been ticking over and I've got something to say. So this is not only about showing off language, it's about giving yourself extra time to think on your feet, right? Think on the spot. Lovely, next. And will we use um, computers more? in the future? Off the top of my head, I would say, yes, we will. Um, the reason I think so is because... Right, off the top of my head, I would say yes, or I would say no. Great, off the top of my head just means without thinking too much. So to say something off the top of your head is to do it almost improvised without thinking, right? Notice the pronunciation, right? It's off the top of, top of, sounds a bit like a, a Russian violin player, top of, off the top of, you can hear the off and the v, off the top of my head, off the top of my head, try. Great, get that ding, 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 ding off the top of my head, off the top of my head, I would say, right, great, good. So try and give me a full answer here, right? Will we use computers more in the future? Great. <laughs> Cutting you off, as often happens in the test, so get used to it, matey. Okay, good. Let's move on. Do you think computers make life easier? As far as I can see, they do. Um, for instance, um, they help us do our work more effectively, 
um, especially when it comes to preparing reports or presentations. <laughs> Great, as far as I can see, da, 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 right? Um, now, it doesn't mean literally as far as you can see, but it just means as far as I understand or as much as I understand, right? As far as I can see, um, often, very often, we say, often, very often, we also sometimes say tell instead of see, right? As far as I can tell, right? Da, 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 da. Okay. Notice the pronunciation. It's not as, it's as, as, because it's unstressed. As far as, as far as, as far as I can, can instead of can, because it's also unstressed. As far as I can see, try, as far as I can see, with tell, good. As far as I can tell, nice, great. And here I go on to give an example, but use for instance, right? As far as I can tell, they do make life easier. For instance, da, 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 and then give some examples. Always a great technique in um, part three is to give examples to develop your answers. So what about you, hey? Do you think computers make your life easier? Great, thank you, cutting you off again. Get used to it, <laughs> let's move on. Why do some people dislike computers? I'd hazard a guess that it's because of their age. Um, that may be the case. I mean, a lot of older people don't like computers because they don't really understand how to use them. <laughs> I'd hazard a guess. Nice expression. Really, it means I'm making a guess or I'm guessing, right? So similar to saying, I guess, I suppose, I think, I'd hazard a guess. I would hazard. Um, I'd hazard a guess. Okay. I'd hazard a guess. You can link hazard a guess. Hazard a guess. I'd hazard a guess. It's a bit tricky. That's why you need to practice this one before you start using it in any kind of test, right? I'd hazard a guess. It's because of, and then you can say. I also have that nice expression. That may be the case, right? Again, it's another filler helping me gain time to think right? That may be the case. That may be the situation, right? Maybe, maybe not. Possibly, possibly not, right? I'd hazard a guess that it's because of their age. That may be the case. Um, I mean, a lot of people, da, 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 a lot of older people. So I mean, really then is giving me the chance to give an example or clarify what I am saying, right? And by this point, I'm able to develop my answer quite a bit more. Okay, nice expression. Um, so, my friend, why do some people dislike computers? That's an interesting answer. Thank you very much. Let's carry on. So today we've seen five different ways of saying, I don't know, um, to help you show off your vocabulary, also help you to gain time to think on your feet and to also develop your answers, which is critical in IELTS speaking part three. I hope it's been helpful. A big thank you again to Camberley for sponsoring this video. Make that long-term commitment to improving your English. Go and check out their plans. If you go for the 12-month plan, 
There's a 40% discount. Just use the code Keith-YT and you can claim the discount. If you prefer to try it out, you can do a 15 minute lesson for free. The links are down below. Go and check them out. Go and enjoy your learning. Go and check out also the courses that Cambly have that can help you learn over the long term. Excellent. Thank you again, Camberley, for sponsoring and thank you for watching and practicing with me today and taking your IELTS speaking up to the next level. I look forward to seeing you soon. Um, do remember, subscribe, turn on the notifications, leave me a comment below. Let me know, I don't know, how about try to use one of these five expressions to develop an answer um, for the question, do you think computers make our lives easier? Great. Take care, my friends. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.